You guys should hear me in a second. All right, how about now? <laughs> you should hear in a second, hopefully. I always have to change everything like back and forth. Testing, testing, testing. Every time like I go into these different rooms with Drew and John and John T, like I have to change all my audio settings around <laughs> and uh, I got to make sure I change it back. I don't know why I can't just have like one setting. All right, let's make sure we're good to go here. I think we're ready. Hello, Jake, Hattie, Totter, Doofus Drew, Heather. Who else is up in here? Charles. Elephant Puppet. I may even jump on with Drew. Drew's got a, um, may jump on with Drew here in a little bit. Um, Drew was going to do a little bit of digging around in Valheim. So I'm going to jump on his stream. Um, probably about, let's see, my time. It's almost 10 here, uh, around 2 o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time for me. Um, I think that's when Drew is going to stream some Valheim today for us. Yes, I am off today. And I got my doctor's appointment out of the way. So that was good. I don't know if I'm necessarily wanting to like, like build in here necessarily. I just, I kind of just have this urge. Somebody tweeted out a, um, may have even been Planet Zoo's Twitter account, tweeted out a wolf enclosure a day or two ago. And ever since they, they, sh ever since they showed that off, I've been kind of like, having an urge to get in here and like just make a wolf's den, you know? So let's see, maybe we can still try to incorporate it over here just a little bit, but like the lake wasn't really the point, but try to get something going here. Valheim week, yes. <laughs> Screen testing to get us to here. All right, so let's start this. Oh, I guess I could get you all some music going too, though. Hold on a sec, so you don't have to just sit here in silence, all creepy-like. We'll start off with some aquatic pack, I think. <laughs> You guys tell me if that's too loud. Yes, Totter, that was it. Hey, what's up, Marksman? <laughs> sea serpent in my zoo. That's for Valheim week. <laughs> no sea serpents here. <laughs> So, I don't even, like I said, we're not even really designing this for, for people really to come in as much so as we're just like, I just want to like build a kind of like a, kind of like just a habitat for like, if just the animals were here, like this is where the wolves have like staked their claim or whatever, you know? So I definitely kind of want to get them some kind of little cave. But yeah, Marksman, we will get some, uh, we will get some Valheim action here going in just a little bit. Later on this afternoon, I, not here on my channel, I'm just, I'm going to be in a voice chat with Drew, so he will stream it over there. I'll stream some Valheim, but it'll be more like our normal, um, it'll be an evening stream. 
Um, not tonight, though. I won't be around tonight. But yeah, I made it to my doctor's appointment this morning, and she she basically said kind of about the whole liver enzyme thing, um, what I was thinking. And it's kind of like in my situation with my liver enzymes being elevated, it's basically totally dependent on me and like how not clean I was eating. Um, I still have to have a fibro scan. Um, I've got a fibro scan on March 8th. And what they do with a fibro scan is they go in and they shoot sonic, um, they shoot sonic like sound waves at your liver. And it, the way it bounces back, um, she said, it tells them if there's any scar tissue in your liver, like what kind of damage um, has been done. And mine is not necessarily um, alcohol-based damage because I don't even, I never, I've never really even drank that much, but more like diet-based, um, greasy food intake, fast food, um, food with high saturated fat. Um, and basically I have what they call a fatty liver, which if, if they ever tell you that, that means basically like fat has infiltrated your liver diet. Um, and so you just kind of have to really, the only thing they can do for it, they, they, there's really nothing they can do. It's all on you. It has, it's like all on your diet exercise, which just being honest with you, my exercise is like absolutely non-existent. And I didn't lie to her either. Like, oh yeah, I try to walk at least a couple times a day. You know, I, I walk for at least 30 minutes. I'm like, honestly, no, I couldn't even tell you the last time I actually even went outside to like, just, I play golf and stuff in the summer, but I couldn't, I was like, I couldn't tell you the last time I went outside to strictly just walk for 30 minutes. And she's like, yeah, you're probably going to want to change that. <laughs> so here we are. I had to give like six vials of blood. I'm like, you all are draining me today. Because they check for a lot of things with uh, like when it comes to the liver. They check all type of um, hepatitis type situations. But the one, the, the thing she did say is with my liver enzymes bouncing like she said that she thinks my my whole gastroenterology type issue is in my own making. She's like, so that's a good thing. It's she said it would be different if your liver enzymes went up and you were eating clean and exercising and they never came back down. Then we've got to dig a little deeper. Um, she said with yours, it seems like it's totally diet controlled. When you eat clean, you feel better. There's no reason for you to even be here. Um, but she said, when you start back on your fast food and the, and the fried food and you start feeling like poo again, and that's what she said. She said, you, you, you just, you know, when you need to cut back. So she said, that's typically a good sign. You're, you're not to the point where no matter if you exercise, or not, you've damaged your liver to a point where, you know, there's like bad cause for concern. So, uh oh, Drew said, that sounds like my issue as well. I need to take better, better care of myself. Yes. Yeah, Heather, it was like six vials. Like I, the lady was like putting them in a tray before she started and the, and the woman was calling them off to her. She's like, okay, you need to do four reds on him and two blues. So whatever that was, there was four little red vials and two blue vials. But this lady was, like, she said, okay, get ready for a little prick. Um, did not even feel one thing. Like, she was awesome. My appointment was at 8, and I was coming back into my driveway at 9.20. So, it was a really, really quick appointment. And actually, other than this fibro scan that they have set up, um, I don't actually see her again until like June. So it just seems like with the, with the, with the liver deal, it is, um, it's long-term type turnaround. Like if, if they brought me back in there in three weeks, like she said, um, 
she told me this. She's like, probably not gonna notice a lot. Um, she said, in the with the liver and these in your elevated enzymes, you got to be thinking long term. So I want to see you back here at the beginning of June. And then, of course, she talked about the diet thing and the exercising. And um, she said, we'll, we'll, we'll get you. She said, I think we'll get you back on the right track. You just kind of have to. Uh, she said, you are the ruler of your own destiny when it comes to this uh, with your particular situation, not being a heavy drinker. Um, you, you are, she said, you are the, uh, you're the ruler of your own destiny when it comes to this stuff. So we will just try to, uh, you know, what can I do, but try to get better. You know, that this stuff kind of scares you. Like Heather said, <laughs> it, um, it, it, going to the doctor like this, um, and not putting it off always usually ends up good for yourself. <laughs> Even if it just scares you into getting your act together, um, it can, uh, it can really help. Like right now, when, when I first had a big scare, like five years ago, like I even, I, I just went ahead and went to the, uh, Hey Toves, I went to the emergency room because like, I couldn't even hold down water. Like a sip of water was making me feel like I needed to puke all over the place. So, you know, much less any type of food. Um, and my liver enzymes were really, really high. And that's when they told me that, that, um, that fat had had infiltrated my liver. Really, really scary time. Um, and then as the, as a week or two went on, um, started doing what they said, and I was able to start eating toast. And then I started eating some noodles and just you know really kind of um, you know little type of meals like that. And I and when I was at my heaviest, I was at like 250 pounds, like right at 248 when I started. Um, puking and feeling like horrible but at the same time that was a uh, that was a time where I'm not nearly anything like this now but my fast food intake was typically two to three meals per day um, it, it was it was horror I mean thinking back to it now it like it makes me feel horrible like what i was doing to my organs and my body it's like it's just unfathomable now when i think back to to how i was eating back when i went to the emergency room um but uh long story short i kind of got my act together and i went from 250 my lowest ever was 212. I got down to 212, but I was like going to the park every single day, um, exercising. I was eating clean. Um, now I probably in the last six months or so, I'd say I really started slipping. Um, not to the point like it was four or five years ago, but definitely fast food, not daily, but multiple times a week. I'd say, um, and then, uh, I, I started feeling like sluggish again. And that's why I set up this appointment and they did the blood work like back on January 20th. And they're like, yep, your, your liver enzymes are elevated again. And then they, you know, she, um, my primary care, uh, physician, she was like, so what's going on? Have you kind of fallen off the horse again? And I'm like, yeah, you could say that. Typically pizza once a week, uh, McDonald's, Wendy's sometimes before I come home. Um, and so started dialing that back over the last month again. Actually, I haven't had any fast food like at all over the last month. Feel wonderful, like totally back to um, just back to just back to normal. So um, mine is. I think, like I said, I think hopefully we could control this. Of course, this this fibro scan, whenever you have to like wait for that stuff to be done and then you have to like, you know, you always think about it. Like, don't you hate that? Like when they when they do test results and then they're like, okay, well, we'll we should hear back within a week um, and we'll kind of let you know what's going on or, or what, what we see. And then you sit there for like a week, like you sit there and lay, you're like laying there at night thinking like, oh God, what are, what are they going to find? What's, what's happening? <laughs> but hopefully it's, uh, 
hopefully, hopefully it's all good. I'll keep you guys updated, though. Uh, like I said, I go for that scan on, it's like two weeks from now, March 8th. That's a Monday, too. So, we'll kind of see what's happening with OS Dan's liver and try to get this, try to get this under control. You know, guys, I don't really want to, I don't know if I want to make this like an actual cave cave, more as so as just like a, like a sheltered area you think, you would think that these wolves would, like, mark as their territory. Perhaps. You know, that's kind of what I want to, kind of what I want to make happen with this, I'm thinking. Just some kind of little protected, like, den, if you will. Um, Drew said, when I was active, I never had acid reflux problems, but ever since getting into gaming, I started to have issues. Have to balance everything out. Yeah, Drew, you need to try to make some time, even if, like, you and Murph just go for, like, a quick 30-minute walk. You could, uh... Just be interesting to see if you notice a difference. Like I, like we're doing that. Like I called Casey. She's at work. Like we're setting our alarm for like six fifteen tomorrow, six o'clock, and we're gonna get up and um, we're gonna try to walk because with her and I, we think if we if we put our exercise off until in the evening, um, we're not gonna do it. We're absolutely not going to stick with it. Um, but we think if we get up in the morning and just make ourselves do a quick 30 minute, just like a quick 30 minute little walk, like even take pumpkin with us, let her get, let her get some fresh air and exercise. We think we're, um, we, we really want to try that. Like no, no ifs, ands, or buts starting that tomorrow. And, um, and then, you know, we can come home in the evening, enjoy our evenings. I can stream with you guys. Um, and I, I, there, there's no reason in the evening to have to put any exercise off because we've already made it happen. We've started our day off with some, with a, with a, with a quick walk and who knows, maybe that'll make our days go better. You know, don't, you know, maybe not feel so sluggish throughout the day. So we, we've got some lifestyle changes that are, that are about to start kicking in. <laughs> Let's see, I haven't had fast food in months. I went on a diet and it basically put me off the stuff entirely. Me, a two. <laughs> Heather said, it's probably been 20 years since I've had fast food. That is a good thing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We were taking Murphy on walks before it was negative 10 outside. Too cold for his little paws. Oh, That's true. Yeah, I may want to leave him out until spring hits. <laughs> we'll have to get pumpkin little we'll have to get pumpkin some little booties or something it's a pretty good little presentation here so far isn't it it's kind of like a a rocky little outcrop that they could like call their home base or whatever you know We'll get some actual wolves in here too in just a little bit, but let's just kind of, let's kind of play around with this some. Um. This little area did turn out fun though, didn't it guys? Just this little kind of like grizzly beach. I love how, I know I say it every time, but I love that they added this like green hue now. And uh, it just looks, it just, I just love the look of it. Kind of reminds me of like, almost like a, a Lake Tahoe type of clear, you know? guys (laughs) 
He's been so bored, we feel bad. Been doing indoor brain games with him. Yeah, that's Pumpkin too. She is such like an inquisitive little dog. Like we've got to make sure <laughs> we, uh, we've got to make sure we, we continuously stimulate her. Or Pumpkin starts the, uh, like the, uh, the chewing, the couch chewing, the, the, uh, the table edge chewing. <laughs> But of course, too, you know, she's only like five, six months old, too. So she's she's still a little puppers. You know, I'm just going off pure speculative fantasy here of like what I would want to see at a, like a little wolf den burrow, but I've never seen one in real life. I don't even know what they do. Like, what do they do? Do they like bed down like deers do? You know, or do they like, do they find little spots that they kind of nest at for the day? Or do they kind of do they move around a lot? Do they not stay in the same place very long? I'll have to do some research on that. Hey, what's up, Jonas? Yes, I am not streaming when it's 2 a.m. for you. You've caught me on a rare Monday. <laughs> We're still waiting for Jonas to get his little wolf in the mail. But Bold was telling me she had sent some stuff to her friends in the Netherlands, like, not too long ago. Of course, that's coming from Canada. Um, and she said it over a month to get it, so I am hoping that little guy makes it. Uh-oh. Drew's pipes may be frozen up. Not good. The chewing is awful. My dog bit nonstop for three months. Yeah, we're just, we're trying to shove new toys in front of her. But she, uh, she destroys those too. <laughs> That's the problem, Heather. The toys, the toys last pumpkin like an hour. Uh oh, Jonas is still at work. <laughs> Oh, and guys, Bold did confirm to me she is in Suyana. So Bold actually has the file now. She actually sent me a really awesome picture. Remember when I said that um, I, I wanted to see if she could redo um, Suyana's little uh, kind of like main statue? Uh, she did. <laughs> it looks incredible. So she uh, is actively toiling away at that now. And for any of you guys, if you uh, if you're popping in um, and you can't catch the live stream, I will um, speed this up. I'll do a speed build out of this and. Uh, you guys can catch this on actual video playback, so probably um, may even get that ready for this evening um, since I'm not going to actually be around to stream. Got to go to Casey's mom and dad's um, this evening to drop some stuff off and help her mom with her laptop. <laughs> so no stream for old S. Dan this evening, so I at least wanted to jump on here. Um, with you guys now. And like I said, don't forget at 2, um, we'll jump back on with Drew and get some biking action going on. I am so exhausted. Please do my work for me.
and I'm trying to work, but nothing is coming out. I got, it got down to negative 14 last night, so I think they're froze. Rut row, Jerusalem. Not good. Hey, what's up, Hobbit? Hobbit 94. Like I said, we don't know if the wolves would stay here, but we're gonna we're gonna act like this is their little home base. <laughs> the Hob Hobbit is one of my trusted lurkers. That is cool, too. Hobbit, do you ever watch our streams and just, just like, play? Like, you just listen to us in the background while you're actually playing Planet Zoo? That's what a lot of people tell us. Or sometimes people will message me and they'll say, I'm sorry I'm not active on the streams, but I, I believe me, I'm there. I usually just kind of have you on in the background while I'm building on my zoo. <laughs> Which that's pretty cool too. FYI, wolves dens are usually one big main part with little offshoots and are usually intertwined with tree roots to give the den extra structure. That is stinking cool. Wolves usually have a few dens within the territory, maybe two to three dens. Cool. Oh, Toves, we are absolutely, we're having a blast with Valheim right now. That is just, that game kind of just hit us out of nowhere, didn't it? <laughs> Totter, you're a trusted lurker. <laughs> Toe said, I'm literally doing that right now. <laughs> Hobbit said, yeah, if you were Drew or Poison Blade or building in stream, I tend to have it up on my second monitor while building in Zoo or Sims. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, another heads up. I might have to give you guys. Um, we're not 100, well, we're, we're about 90% sure and Heather, you may want to make a note of this too, just in case you're gone or if you have something going on. Um, movie night this week. Uh, we're thinking about going ahead and doing Forrest Gump, but it's probably going to be Friday night. Um, I do not think... I'm, my little brother's birthday is Saturday, and I may have to be at my mom's house Saturday evening. Um, I don't, hey, what's up, Emma? I don't think I will be able to watch a movie with you guys on Saturday evening. So Drew said, what about, um, what about Friday evening or Sunday during the day? Um, so I'm thinking, I don't think that'll work because I think I have to stream with Simply Savannah on Sunday during the day. Like, once her stream's over, she's going to be coming onto my stream in Suyana on Sunday. So we're thinking Friday, Friday night, probably 7-ish. Um, we will try to get some Forrest Gump action going. So be on the lookout if Drew, can, if Drew officially announces that. Because, yeah, Saturday this time, I just don't think it's going to work. And I don't want to kind of try to make it work. And then if it doesn't, kind of let all you all down. So let's just not shoot for Saturday this time. The 
The lurkers live in the lurk cave. I love the texture of those. Don't those two look cool? Whoops. <laughs> you almost broke my fence. Friday's good. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, what's up, ER? Totter, are you all anyway excited for prehistoric kingdom or is it not really necessarily on your radar or how are you feeling about it? Drew and I are trying to keep like mm, reserved optimism. We're not like, you know, trying not to like, you know, wet our pants over it, but we're, you know, it's a title we're interested in. Uh-oh, Emily changing screen names up on us. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Heather and Drew and them talked me into finally doing a face cam. And if you guys are streaming out there and you're kind of um, self-conscious about Kind of like taking that leap to uh, to face cam, it not 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 too big of a deal at all. I was, uh, if, you know, don't get me wrong. You'll probably be nervous at first, but you know, actually, I don't even hardly even think about it now. Like when I'm like focusing on the build and chatting with you guys, I don't even, I'm not even really looking. <laughs> Yeah, more Drew. Drew pushed me into it. Drew always has to, like, give me that little push. Like, I will resist. And then Drew and then Drew just does it, like, on his streams. And I'm like, okay, let, it's just time. It's time. Let's just do this. So a lot of times Drew gives me the confidence to, like, just push out and just do it. Whereas otherwise I probably would have held off. So, you know, but yeah, now not, not that big of a deal. Prehistoric is practically my entertainment when I was five. I legit am so interested in dinos and ice age creatures. When I hear Nigel, when I heard Nigel, I was so happy. That's cool. Yeah, hopefully he said, um, or they were, the devs were saying um, that they hope to work with him more. Drew is great for a little push. Yes. I hate to say it too, but Drew is like, Drew's, uh, Drew was, He's almost become like my little guinea pig, hasn't he? Like Drew tries all of you'll you'll notice Drew tries it out first, and then I I come along like a week later. <laughs> so Drew tests it. If Drew thinks it's if Drew thinks we're good, if we're kosher, then I then I'm on it. <laughs> Down, down. 
I kind of want to make this like a natural barrier for them. I don't want to, I don't really want any like scene walls if I can help it. Hey, no problem, Emma. Lurk away, just don't get in trouble. <laughs> I'm not interested in the dinosaurs in a zoo area of PK. Something about humans and dinosaurs living together just doesn't mix to me. <laughs> doesn't work. It didn't work out too good for the folks in Jurassic Park, did it? Or Jurassic World either. back up. Maybe we can make this like Wolf Valley through here. Drew, if you're still here, did you get on any, uh, did you get on any Valheim anymore after d and I was, I, I went straight to bed. I was, I had to be up early for, for this doctor's appointment this morning. So when D&D &D was over, I just crashed. That was a really good session, uh, by the way, last night too. That was, that was fun. Um, race car like can't really commit to D and D anymore right now. Um, with some other, with some other things he's got going on. So John mass bandit, our, uh, our DM had to kind of, we kind of essentially had to write him out of the story for now. And, uh, it just, he, he worked it out pretty cool. Like a uh, race cars character owned a, a tavern in this town that we're in and um the way john kind of um weave the story in to make it to where race car like had some other things he had to uh had to tend to it was uh it was it was pretty neat pretty pretty fun stuff hey what's up dz We're making, anybody that's just jumped in, we're making a large wolf den. But we're trying to make it like a little more natural and not necessarily like with exposed walls and all that. We're just gonna try to, try to make this a natural little den area for them with this kind of being the main little in part. Hey, Linda. Yes, you get me for a normal morning stream this time around. I had a doctor's appointment this morning, so um, I just uh, I was able to use like sick time at work, so I just took the whole rest of the day off. Uh-oh, there's Poison Blade. Speaking of Valheim nerds, we've turned Poison Blade into a full-on Valheim nerd. What's up, buddy? 
<laughs> currently playing. Linda's playing PZ with me in the background right now, too. Just like our buddy Hobbit94. Linda, I've seen you've struck some inspiration here lately. That's what I kind of have, too, with this little wolf idea. Um, I was telling Totter and them earlier that uh, Planet Zoo, like, they put out a really, really cool tweet, like, last week, showing uh, a wolf's den that somebody had created, and uh, that kind of, my wheels have been turning to try to do this since last week. <laughs> As soon as I saw that, sometimes that's all it takes is a picture or go to Pinterest and you're set. Like it just, just new wind. I like to use these as little ferns, guys. Like these are just a little ponytail palm, which in this setting wouldn't make much sense, you know, kind of being really, really tropical where this is more like Pacific Northwest, <laughs> uh, but if you sink them down into the ground, look, you can get like a really good, almost just little underbrush type of fern. And I think the, I noticed Bold do this first. So that is where I kind of picked this little trick up from. I'm gonna feed S. Dan to the sea serpents. I saw Jaunty has us a, uh, Jaunty has us a big boat now. Like not just a little rinky dink raft like you um, saw in, the, in one of the earlier streams. No, it's like a, it's like a legit ocean faring boat. <laughs> So I don't know if he's going to make us all jump into that or not, but yeah, I'm hooked as well. After I found that unused spot in my zoo and it helped to just play and not build for a while. Now I'm building because I want to, not because I have to, you know, that's, that's an interesting point. That's kind of what, that's kind of what we're doing here. Like we could have absolutely just like had Drew jump in and stream some Valheim with me this morning. But I was like, I kind of feel like building a wolf's den. Like, that's what I think we're going to do today. That's what we're going to do this morning. <laughs> and here we are. What plants did you use for that moss look? Which one, like here on this log? These are, um, this is actually from Haribo. That's the Ivy Vertical. Yeah, use that. Go look for that. Um, go look for your your little ivy piece, ivy vertical. Really, he did a really, really awesome job on that. Like I, I will use I will use Haribo's logs until the day I stop playing Planet Zoo. Like I'm so glad Drew found those. Drew found those for the swamp. Remember? And they are a staple. Like I'm, I'm kind of helping. Um, I'm doing a little help with Savannah right now too, on the shell challenge, um, and that those are coming in handy there too. I adore those logs. Mm 
know, I kind of want to make this... Like, they probably... This needs to be a little more not so open out here, doesn't it? Not so open, so they feel a little more sheltered. Typically, in, in settings where wolves are, are they typically an apex predator? Like, of course, you know, you have... You typically, like, associate wolves being in the same region as grizzly bears, black bears maybe in some instances, but typically wolves are, they're pretty apex, aren't they? There's, there's not a lot that they have to really be frightened of. I mean, they'll even, like, wolves will even take on mooses and moose and, and stuff like that. Like, they're pretty... If it comes down to meals... Hoping to find the swamp and the iron in there. I know. We, we need to... We need to find... Uh, we need to find that swamp area. See how they've done that. Yeah, they're... Okay, so yeah, they are apex predators. They're pretty high up on the food chain. Two of them can take down fully grown moose. Yep, interesting, interesting creature. Just kind of want to mix up the... Just kind of want to mix up the undergrowth here just a little bit. If I can find anything that kind of looks suitable. Italy's wolf population is growing. That's cool. Okay, so we'll kind of map this off a little bit for the border over here. be a pretty good sized little wolf lot, won't it? You know what, Heather? I may be able to may be able to do another little water feature over here for them or like a little not not lake, but large pond. try here in a minute. I just, I, I am absolutely just in love with Planet Zoo water now. They've given it so much life just by adding that blue hue, whereas before it was kind of like almost jello-y. Now it's just like, I mean, look at it. Look how much character that has now. Just a little bit of, little bit of color change. Dang, hold on. That's a good, that's a, there's an, in, there's an Instagram shot right there, isn't it? If you all aren't following me on Instagram, go over there and give me a shout. We post, I post pictures on there almost every day. Almost every day, at Estan Wolf, you know the, you know the game. But yeah, love, love, love that blue. <laughs> Got a little otter out there in a box. We'll have to get fix that. There are even wolves here in the south of Brazil. 
Also, do not mess with sea serpents. They will eat your boat. <laughs> UK is planning on reintroducing wolves to the lake districting in the near future. I hope they do soon. That's cool. I'd like to make it out to like Yellowstone National Park. One of those, one of these days, you know? Like really get out there and take all that in. See the geysers. Buffalo. Some of those people are crazy. Like you remember that you're not gonna see me on like uh, remember that show like real TV where the guy like gets out of the car to try to get a better shot of the buffalo and the buffalo like ends up stomping him to death. I'm like I will watch from the safety of my car. That photo is not worth dying for. <laughs> right? Hey, thanks, Heather. Yeah, you guys come over to Instagram. Check me out. Especially if you're still interested. I probably post, I probably post more on Instagram about um, Planet Zoo than I make videos of nowadays. So if you're wanting to keep up with the kind of like more of the Planet Zoo mischief, definitely hit me up on Instagram. That's where it usually, that's where it's been going down at. <laughs> Did you like that, Heather? Yeah, you are not going to see old S. Dan get stomped to death by some buffalo. I will not be put in that situation. Willingly, at least. I mean, maybe if I was out there camping or something and <laughs> some, something went a little, something went awry, but... My obituary is not going to read. He was trying to get a, he was trying to get a picture of a buffalo for a Facebook picture in it and ended up stomping him. Like, no, he had, like, cerebral hemorrhaging. It stomped him so bad. He died right there. <laughs> nah, you ain't gonna hear that. Yeah, Poison Blade, I still make videos from time to time. About Maybe about once every seven or eight weeks. Nah, just kidding. This is so cool. Do you upload your builds on stream? Laura, sometimes I do. Sometimes I just forget. Like, I'm not being nefarious about it with you all, but sometimes I just move on. So if you've seen me build something and you want to use it, just send me a, uh, just send me a direct message or, um, you know, I will get it up for you. If you don't see it, I just haven't, uh, I just haven't uploaded it. So yeah, if you uh, if you go on the workshop and just search S. Dan Wolf, you'll you'll see some of the some of the mischief we've got it we've gotten into and what I've what I've put on there. I'm back. Had to crawl under my house and replace some heat tape on the main water line. I am freezing. <laughs> Drew. So what are you gonna do, Drew? Maybe leave some uh, leaves leave a little drip going tonight. The lady at the uh, at my doctor's appointment, um, when she made my appointment, when I have to go back in June, she's like, and we, and she said, as soon as she said June, she's like, oh my God, June. She said, we will not be walking in here with jackets, will we? I'm like, I hope not. June, it's coming, Drew. Not much longer. Whoops. Then me and Drew will be complaining about how burning up we are. God, it's like 80 degrees in this room. Drew, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stream. It's, this room just gets too hot. 
get them like a little path kind of going out to their to their lake here from this way. Hey, what's up, Seth? Making videos is for noobs. <laughs> yeah. More than a drip. We try to drip and they froze, so we'll let them bitches run. <laughs> gotcha. Give it a try. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves here and kind of leave out detailing. Sometimes that's one of my problems. I skip ahead too much and um, I leave ideas and stuff behind, particularly with, with foliage. I know you guys are probably thinking, is he ever gonna put like actual wolves in here? What's the deal? We'll get to the wolves. I just like to give them, like I like to, I like to start the little homes, like the little dens and stuff first. We will get to the little wolves. We'll get us a pack going. What time is it? It's 1042. Ah, oh, we still got plenty of time. Plenty of time. If you all don't have anywhere to be, I don't, I only have, I have to be, I have to report to Drew at like 1.45-ish. Of course, I got I to gotta get some lunch and stuff too, though, here in a little bit. But we still got some time in our back pocket here. Drew, I need to tell you, I might not be submitting anything for the next two weeks for Community Showcase. Hey, what's up, Gek? Gek joined us on... Uh, Gek finally got um, Wreckfest. Had some quick fun with the old Geckers yesterday. Next time we play, we'll, uh, me and Drew, hopefully get to stay a little longer. I just kind of had some, had some stuff I had to get done yesterday afternoon as well for my doctor's appointment and the, the craziness of Monday got here. I like when just Goran plays with us. He's funny. Lion Rider. Silver Fox's screams. Let's see. I find it a bit calming that the one year we produce a little less carbon dioxide, we finally have a real winter again. It's a bit like it's a bit like nature saying, "Good job, right direction." I know, Linda, but we're going to be heading. We're we're good, they're going to be heading the other direction soon. Once <laughs> once everything kind of, if the vaccines and stuff take hold, that's one of the downsides. Remember, remember, Linda, when all this first started about like how they were seeing nature. They were seeing animals and stuff where they hadn't been like documented in like decades. Wasn't that kind of really cool, but also really depressing at the same time? <laughs> it's like, damn it. Why are we like the way we are? Why are we like this? Like, if I start my little exercising journey over here at this little park, I've got a park, like, right across, like, it's, like, 100 feet from my house um, that uh, they, it's got, has, like, a big creek that runs through it, and there's little, like, there's tons of ducks over there and fish and geese. Um, may start doing that, Heather. I might start, like, just vlogging my little walks in the afternoon. And kind of just like checking in with you guys. Like even if we do it live. Um, or if, or even if I do it in the mornings. Maybe we can motivate some of you guys to, to kind of walk and try to be a little more active. So you're not, so you're not showing up to doctor's appointments with liver enzyme issues and, uh, and having to give six vials of blood. <laughs> 
And if you can't get out, maybe you can just virtually walk with me here. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Estan, I have 20 minutes until a doctor's appointment, so I'll be here until 11. Oh, that's perfect. It's, that's okay. We got, we got a chill chat going on today. Norma, sometimes Heather has to, has to step in for me, but we're, we're pretty chill today, aren't we? Hey, Italy, I'm good. I'm good. Streaming with you guys on a Monday is always a good thing. I am not stuck at work just waiting for Drew to, waiting for Drew to come on at two. And then even sometimes we get so busy, I can't even, uh, I can't even hang out with Drew till the late evening when I finally get home. But, you know, it's work, not play. <laughs> I don't see anything opening up and have our vaccines before end of fall, really. Germany is very, very slow. Yeah, we were even talking about that on, uh, on stream a couple days ago. Like, even Bob Chapek, like, as far as, like, judging normalcy as far as theme parks and stuff go, um, even he told earners and investors and all that, um, be thinking 2022 before anything even remotely kind of starts turning back towards what people are kind of used to. So, or like what normalcy is to us now. So we'll see. You know what I could do? This would be a good spot to incorporate some lily pads. I think that'll look good out here in the little wolf pond. Hey, Ricardo. What's up, buddy? I'm streaming at a sensible time for Ricardo as well. <laughs> Sometimes Ricardo tries to stay up and watch me, but that's kind of tough at 2.53 a.m., Let's take this chunky boy here and see if I can see what this looks like. Yeah, like this tree just could not hold on anymore out on this little, this little island, this little kind of peninsula out here, you know? <laughs> I, I've got an uncle. He says, uh, you know, like after everything, hey, you know, hey, Stephen, how you doing, you know? I'm like, you know, what? Why did you, why did you end that with a, you know? You asked me how I was doing. Hey, Stephen, how you doing, you know? And so I tells the guy, you know? No, I don't know. You haven't told me yet. You know? Yeah, Ricardo. So see, I'm hitting you up in the, in the late afternoon here. We got a good group of folks here today. Linda can crack her whip if needed. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Oh, wait, your all's music stopped, didn't it? I do not hear any more music. Hold on. There we go. There is your Saharan Oasis. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ricardo, and what I'll also what I'll also do if you don't have time to watch back this whole stream, um, later on this evening when this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Um, I'm gonna copy it, and I am going to make a time lapse out of it. So, you know, that'll give you 
we'll get on here and chat about it. That'll, it'll probably only be a 12, 13 minute video, probably 14 minutes. So, because a lot of times, like I said, I'll, I'll forget my little video crowd. This will be like their little beach entry right here almost. And um, I just, sometimes it just slips me like, oh wait, these people, <laughs> not everybody has two, three hours to sit here and just hang out and, and watch this in real time. So I've got to try to get better on documenting some of this better and, and getting it on the channel as, uh, as actual videos. Hi, hey, Audrey. Opinion on mods. You know, Lion Rider and all of those modders, they've made, they've made good strides. I personally don't have a problem with them. Um, if they can, if they can do the work, and plus it's like, it's all free. Like they don't charge for it. As long as it, as long as I don't have any game breaking issues, um, I don't mind them. They're okay in my boat, in my book, in my boat. Sometimes there's a little bit of, there's like, there's some, there's some like trepidation behind mods, particularly in, in these type of, like in this type of setting. But I haven't, uh, I haven't ran into too many issues. Not enough for me to like swear them off necessarily. The only issue that I, and it could totally be me, um, but was when Drew downloaded some wall mods in the swamp. Um, I just could not, absolutely not get the file to open um, until I got rid of, like the eagles were fine, everything was fine. Um, but when I, when I installed whatever that, that brick wall type deal was, I could not get back into the swamp. Remember, it ruined one of our streams one day. Um, I had to like, I think we had to, we had to bail and just, we, we ended up playing something else, I think. So, you know, you run into issues every once in a while, but for me, typically, they're, it's pretty cool. Oh, no, Ricardo, I don't have my own. I'm like Heather and them. I usually just typically hang out in Drew's. I'm really, it doesn't, I don't, I'm not really a massive Discord user other than um, like using it as an awesome personal communication tool. Like if I have to send Heather and them a quick note or Silver Fox or Drew, we pretty much exclusively communicate through that. But, um, yeah, I'm just not really, I'm not on there a whole, whole lot. A lot of people have told me, though, they're like, dude, you need to make your own Discord. Like, there needs to be, like, an Estan Wolf community Discord. Never tried it. But, yeah, if you all are wanting a cool Discord to hang around on, I highly, um... I highly recommend Drew's and Simply Savannah's too. She has a really chill um, Discord setup. I like hers too. I'll lurk around in there every once in a while. But yeah, Lion Rider helped us out a ton with uh, with mods in Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve. Which I need to get back in that, don't I? We need to... Um, I need to still finish Callie's uh, boat tour island. Remember? Like with the... Um, with the turtles and all that. I like turtles. We need to get back over there. I 
I still don't fully get Discord. Don't know why. It just does not click with me, and it's a shame. It's kind of like that for me at first, too, Linda. And then I kind of... Drew kind of pulled me into it. <laughs> like everything. And um, I kind of... I, I kind of have a basic like understanding of it now and the in the ins and outs. But Drew still pretty much on like a pretty much on a weekly basis has to say, no man, go in here, change this back, change your input back to your microphone. Take that out. What are you doing? <laughs> so I'm like, don't yell at me. I'm new. I don't know what to do. He's like, dude, you've been doing this for You've been on this for two freaking years. I should not have to tell you how to turn your microphone back. But in my defense, we do so much recording and live streams that sometimes stuff just... For different applications, you wouldn't believe how like much audio has to change to be able to do... YouTube live streams to just Discord to watching movies but not being able to let you all hear the movie but you have to still hear Drew. It's not as easy as Drew makes it look. Like it is it's it's a bit of a uh it's a bit of a uh, a process sometimes when you're do like if you're not doing what we do, like if you are not trying to stream, watch movies, game game through Discord. It's not that big of a deal. You get your settings together and that's it. With us, there's so many different little things that we have to change stuff to that you forget like, oh, wait a minute. I was just in a Discord call last night. I have to change this back because I'm about to stream with these guys. It's a, yeah, it's a little bit of a weird process sometimes. <laughs> I'm starting to get the hang of it, though. I think I'm getting a little better. Drew's not having to scream at me as often. <laughs> Stan had to learn new technology. Yes. Okay, so one thing we have to do, though, guys, is before I get too involved with this outer... Kind of like this outer area. We need a door. We have to have a place for them to get them in here. So I tell you what, let's push this back a little bit so they'll be able to walk through here and get to the rest of the exhibit. But I think we could hide it pretty good right here. Cause we get, we gotta get some, we gotta get us some wolves in here now, don't we? Can I go this way? Okay, let's just try that right there. And let me just make sure real quick there aren't any low enough spots, hopefully for them to escape. And we'll get us some wolves in here. <laughs> Doors are for chumps. Hey, what's up, Mast? Thank you for joining me on this little off Monday. We are building a wolf den. A wolf's den here. <laughs> Doors are pretty overrated. Yeah, I was telling them earlier, Mast, that you had got us into some more mischief last night. We don't know. We're technically about to meet a king, but we have no idea what his agenda is, what his temperament's going to be. Um, 
It's kind of a crapshoot. <laughs> we went, yeah, we went to, we went to university last night. <laughs> That's what Linda and all them call it. You ever notice like the, the Europeans, it's not like you rarely hear one of them call it like, you know how we typically say like, oh, Mass, did you, did you ever go to college or... No, it's university. I, w I went to university in 2008. I graduated in 2008 from university. We're just like, yeah, I went to community college for two years. Dropped out. Hey, thanks, Heather. They tried to be all virtual learning, but underestimated the power outages, so they just canceled everything. Ooh. Not good. You know, speaking of virtual learning, like I was telling my, uh, I was telling my little brother, I'm like, dude, you know, like as far as snow days and stuff go, the one thing about this is you all are probably screwed because there won't be any more like probably snow days of just sitting at home, like enjoying a snow day. I'm like, they'll have you all virtual now. <laughs> He's like, you're probably right. There won't be any more, there won't be a such thing as a snow day. It'll be a virtual snow day. Everybody make sure you're still logged on. I loved how hard you were dissecting the whole situation last night. I know, Mass, don't we always do that to you though? Like as far as like the cat situation goes, we always take like the situation that is so non-consequential and it turns into this big like five week long like story arch, you know? Oh, we're 69 days between DLCs. Typically in Frontier World, that means we're getting close. We're like within a month of hearing something, hopefully. I don't know what it'll be though, maybe birds. For us, college is 16 to 18, university after that. I love the flow of last night's D&D &D session. It feels like the group is really clicking. Drew, dude, that is true. Last night? That was really, if I could, if I could, um, like that was just really chill and well put together, wasn't it? It was like just, and we didn't like, like we didn't BS around, like, um, like mass started like the process, like right at 807, we were like, we, we just jumped right in, like we really made the most of like that two and a half hours. That was cool. Yeah, we just, uh, that was, that was good flow. That was a good flow. Yeah, we're having a virtual day tomorrow if we don't come in, it sucks. <laughs> we're the only ones that call it. I don't trust that damn cat. Or you can go sixth form, which is basically college, but it's your high school in the UK. Ooh. Well, that's D&D &D, though, and here's a secret. Sometimes you have better ideas than I do, and that forces me to reevaluate what I had planned. Uh-oh, Gex, Gex, uh, Gek is betting on some sort of Asian DLC with our little sun bear, buddy. Okay, let me, I'm just gonna back this far enough away to put the keeper gate. I'm just wondering um, what I was telling Drew and them a couple days ago is if more animals, like with the next big DLC kind of big update, if more animals are going to get the, uh, the swimming mechanic or more 
new swimming animals, you know, all together. Hey, Heather, we'll see you in a little bit. Oh, yeah, I should probably still be here. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to get a little Monday I, I'm Monday morning stream in. I'm, I'm, I've got, like, the, uh, I'm, like, at that age, like, you know, 33, where, like, doctor's appointments are, like, finally becoming a thing now. <laughs> like, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not to the point where I'm not firing on all cylinders, but I'm to the point where I'm just, like, a 33-year-old dude now and, like, Stuff needs to be checked on just to, you know, keep things in check for later in life. So I think like with these liver enzymes and, you know, all that, like that is kind of, that's kind of where I'm at in life now. Random Monday morning doctor appointments. <laughs> Gotta take care of yourself. I think to like my dad's generation though, where they're like, you know, basically have to be go have to be dying to go to the hospital. But I'm like, I don't wanna go out like that necessarily. Like, I am not bashful about going to see a doctor if it means I get to live longer. Like that does not uh, that does not affect me one bit. <laughs> give me like tell me what I need to do I, I don't want I don't want this to be a surprise to any of us <laughs> just tell me what I need to do better or whatever give me some medicine and I'll do what you say so the the lady said this morning I need to get off my arse and do some more exercising so guess what Stan Wolf's going to do? Since my since my 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 doctor's degree is 10 years away, I'm going to listen to her. <laughs> yeah, I'm about 10 years away from that, so I'm going to listen to the experts. Uh-oh, there's always a free update when a DLC drops. Yep. Yep, it'll be like what? 1.1.5 especially since their main range, Mongolia, is in Asia. All right, guys, let me just do one quick little look around. That looks a little low. And we will get us some actual wolves in here. I mean, you technically have an actual wolf with you right now because I'm here but I mean in digital game form Thrive made a video on it I like that little nerd He's, he stays up on uh he stays up on the news and the data mines and stuff like that pretty good. Mine and Drew's biggest goal is to uh, is to get Mass Bandit on some Valheim. Like, I want to see what kind of fortress Mass Bandit would make. <laughs> or some kind of fort out in the woods. Something. P-Blade took the Dark Forest route. So P-Blade is kind of, he's, he's really close to us, but he's not in the quote unquote like village section. He's more outskirtish, but has an awesome fort going. We, <laughs> I know we pick on him, but we can't deny he's got a, he's got a cool fort going on. But he almost has to. Um, he just uh, with with the with the constant like the roving kind of like little orc like woodland creatures that attack him. 
Plus, he's getting attacked by a troll every second night. Um, he has to have some kind of fort. I'm gonna try to make a dwarven fortress in Minecraft. <laughs> This is the most meh I've felt leading up to a, to this new DLC. I think we've been hyped too much for each DLC to be okay. Yeah, yeah, I am not, uh, I am not. Well, the thing about it though, this time is, Drew, the, um, the, sur the survival of our channel is not dependent on Planet Zoo DLCs anymore, which is a wonderful thing. Um, but I still want to see the DLCs do good, and I want to, I still want to, to be able to bring in new tools and, you know, and design stuff for you guys. Like, I haven't abandoned um, Planet Zoo necessarily. I just don't have any ideas going right now. Um, but the one caveat as far as, particularly as far as Drew and I go, is we finally, after, you know, uh, years, we have different stuff to fall back on now. That has not been the case for us. So that's it. That's an interesting dynamic of this that, you know, we, if we're being honest, we have to take into account. It's gonna be a little different this time. Hey, what's up, Jake? You know, I think that's what Mass Bandit was saying. Even if it is birds, or maybe it was John T that was saying that. Even if it is birds, a lot of people are saying, I don't know if that's enough to necessarily, like, full-on bring me back, create a new zoo type of vibe. I think... It, it may have been Mass that was saying, don't get me wrong, like, that's cool. Like, that would be, that would be epic if we could see some kind of bird mechanic. But not enough to really, like, make us sink four or five hours a day into it again, necessarily. So, I don't know. We'll just have to see. I think, I think... Um, Mass Bandit is kind of on the kind of on the, the the me and Drew wagon of really kind of holding out hope for a um, possibly uh, Planet Coaster Two type announcement either in 2022 end of 2021 um, because at heart we love the the engine and the lighting and all that all that they progressed with, with Planet Zoo. But in our hearts, we're theme park nerds. And we've not really been bashful about saying that, but we're like, we're wanting this type of water, this weather, we're wanting this lighting package, but we're wanting it in a theme park package. So, eh, you know. I thought swimming would get me back in the game. After two habitats, I did a big old, okay, bored again. <laughs> Why is the DLC talking getting hot already? There isn't anything in the DLC database. I think we're more than a full month away yet. Well, that's typically the thing. Like, they've left it up to the community to do the hyping for them. So... If, if, if we don't like, if kind of like, if we don't hype it up now, you're not going to hear anything until like the week of the DLC drop. I think essentially is what they're saying. We just, they just, they're, they're just, uh, they're the way that the community team and the engagement is set up now. It doesn't lend itself to, um, to long swaths of of hype and information, you know. It's just if if we don't kind of hype you guys up and and start thinking about what could happen, it like it doesn't happen until like 5 days before the packs about to come out. <laughs> but you know, there's a there's a caveat to that, like I think Linda has said before. The problem is guys like us, we get on here when when you know, we haven't started it yet. But 
We can give a lot of false hope and a lot of false hype that doesn't end up happening. Um, so there is, there is that drawback on getting here and getting us kind of all wound up early. And then nothing that we thought was going to happen ends up happening. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, a give and take, take it with a grain of salt type of deal when you start diving into the, uh, what the DLCs are going to be. But for me, those type of videos, they're fun. Like, especially once, once March gets here, I could see Drew and I kind of taking off on, uh, on some more of those type of, uh, type of speculations, at least kind of throw a couple of them out there. Um, cause yeah, it's just a, it's, it's, it's fun kind of content to make. The algorithm loves it. The algorithm absolutely loves, um, speculation videos. Um, and especially because I, th I think more so the algorithm takes off with it because you guys comment on those videos more than anything. Um, nothing gets more comments than hype speculation videos with Planet Zoo, it seems. Those just, uh, those just really, really kind of take off for us. I'm a Planko player at heart. Found that out with Zoo. <laughs> My only problem with Planko now is I have to get you guys to try to set me up with some sensible, uh, um, sensible reshade settings, and maybe I could accept it better. But I go into uh, I go into Planet Coaster now, and I'm just like, ew, <laughs> this is this is dingy and not crisp and the textures seem a little dirty and wonky. Um, it's just kind of like a, it's kind of like a, a shocker for me going into, uh, going into Planet Coaster now. But it, I mean, I guess in, in a, in another sense, it's a good thing because then I think, wow, that engine, they have come a long way with that, uh, with this lighting package and just the way things, you know, just the reflections and weather. <laughs> Depends on how well PK does out the gate. If I'm having a lot of fun with it, then I may not do speculation videos. Still trying to break away from the frontier teat. <laughs> That's true. I love going to real zoos, but not as passionate about building them. Dude, I need to get my, I need to get my Zoo Knoxville pass, um, re-upped. Even if I don't go as much as I'd like to, I still kind of just like, I still like supporting the zoo. And zoos definitely need that support. So if you're in a position to get you a little membership, you have a local zoo, I would, I would try to. That's what I was telling Drew. I want to also try to vlog better this year, like really take it more serious and get you guys some good footage. So hopefully you'll get some, hopefully you'll get some good Zoo Knoxville, um, good Knoxville, Zoo Knoxville footage from me. Nah, I love it. Even with its lack of Christmas, reshade does help. Mass Bandit is a planet coaster trooper. I just kind of, I just kind of fell out of it. Really kind of, kind of when this came out. I watched, uh, I watched back that Summerdale, um, episode yesterday that you put out. That was pretty cool. You, uh, 
you named your little um, um, what's that guy that's been helping you? You named the little snack little snack building after after him. Use the little planet uh, planet coaster lettering. That building looked awesome. You know, I I never realized you you did some like you pulled up on some shots yesterday. I didn't realize like Summerdale is not that big of a it's not that large of a theme park, is it? I was for some reason in my head I just was I was thinking Summerdale Redline. That's it. That's who it was. I was thinking Summerdale was bigger for some strange reason. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys are any any into uh, Planet Coaster still and some realistic builds, go check out. Just um, just uh, get on YouTube and look up uh, Mass Bandit or type in Summerdale, Mass Bandit, Summerdale, Planet Coaster, and you'll see it. Charming, charming little park. Where are my... Oh, here they are. Love these little guys. What are these? White birch. Drew and I can't cut down white birch in Valheim yet. We uh, we don't have the we don't have the sufficient tool yet. We're getting there though. Now it's supposed to be a small park that like sacrificed its historic rides for big and new. Inspired bit by Lakeview Amusement Park in Chicago as far as setting. That's cool. I don't want to block their beach entrance here, but I kind of want to not make it so clean necessarily. Just, it doesn't take much to block them, does it? It's kind of like if, if these little rocks are in their way, they will not go down to the water. Of course, they don't typically spend a lot of time in the water anyway, but... You can't. Jaunty and I can now. Uh-oh. You all will have to tell me your secrets. We got a lot done, didn't we, guys? This is a I wish I could stay home on Mondays and stream with you guys, like, regularly. That'd be cool. Can't do that, though. This is kind of an oddity. <laughs> Alright. Let's try to get some in here. Then we'll go back to some detailing while they're around. You know, we won't get all technical on this. I don't even have welfare on. So we'll just adopt a bunch of them. Here comes our first 
Wolf. That's a pretty one. Dark browns and black. Whoa! There's Big Daddy. <laughs> Jeez, look at the paws on him. That's cool. That's awesome. Oh, crap. Let's check this real quick, though. Cross your fingers. Oh! Hold on a minute. Let's pause this. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoops, whoops. They probably without a doubt would have come over here and got out. Dan, we really need to get you geared up with some bronze stuff. Well, Drew said we're going to try to take care of that today at 2. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll give it the old college try. Man, these builds always astonish me. Hey, thanks, Harry. Yeah, we're we're theming nerds. We don't know much about the animals, but we can I can get in here and theme out a I can theme you out a pretty good exhibit. <laughs> Let's see if that's enough to let us start detailing without having to worry. Yes, I think we're good, guys. We can kind of get in here and watch them. Let's, you know what, let's at least make sure that they can breed, though, so we can at least see, see some little pups. A new animal, Wyatt, has arrived. Okay, let's at least disable the fights. Deaths. Okay, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but they should be able to at least have little pups now. Dang, we've given them a pretty good home, haven't we? Checking out their pond. Hey, what's up, Leaf? Did I surprise you with an early morning stream?
<laughs> Sorry, buddy. You should have told him you had a more important meeting to go to. And they would have said, what? And you could have said, an S-Dan stream. And they would have said, a what stream? When's his, ne when's his next evaluation? There is a demon in Gex Zoo. <laughs> What else are they exploring over here? Dang, that's a cool shot, kind of with the big trees up on the little mound and they're here at the water. It's cool. I'll get, get y'all an Instagram shot of that too. Actually, I'll, ch I'll change the thumbnail when this is over to this. I'm getting a lot of good shots lately. That's a fun one. I like how the, see how the tree's kind of like sticking up out of this mound? And they're having them down here like between the pond and that kind of like rocky overgrowth area. That looks stinking cool. Any of them exploring over here? It'd be cool if one of them would walk across that log. See, this is what I envisioned as like the actual den. But yeah, like I said, if you guys get a chance later this evening, I'll put this out as a, uh, as a regular video and I'll get you guys some, some good cinematics too. I know you guys like this, our little cinematic adventures. I told Savannah, I said, cinematics are like becoming like a dying art form. Like hardly anybody does the cinematics anymore, it seems. Just like everybody just kind of jumps right into the build. Cinematics, like the, the, the editing and the... And trying to get a try to get a good panning shot is like some of my favorite. That's like my favorite part. Oh, speaking of, if you guys want to get cinematics, um, kind of like I do, like if we wanted a sweeping one coming across here, all you have to do is go into your settings, go into your um, let's see, where is it? Your graphics. Scroll down. I think it's in graphics. No, camera. Excuse me, camera. Scroll down into your edge scrolling speed. So you've got your edge scrolling. Make it all the way to negative 10. Click OK. Then what you're going to want to do is you just kind of have to play with it a little bit. Remember, hit G to get rid of like your little UI. And then what I do is I'm, I, I get rid of the mouse cursor as well. But go over really, really slowly. Like you have to be easy with this and take it right to the edge and let it go. And see, you're getting some really, really good slow cinematic footage right now. Nothing's in your way. Of course, remember, get rid of your cursor. And then he walks away. So at this point, I would stop. I would stop that clip. It's good. Get sent on to post editing. That's it. And you can do the same thing like as far as going. It's just whatever direction you want to go. If you wanted to if you wanted to get like a quicker over the water shot, see the cursor? Just go a little more aggressive at it. It's like if see if I wanted to come at him faster. So, you know, there's your little quick cinematic tutorial. <laughs> Just got to be easy with it. Think gentle and take your time. Get you some good shots.
Haven't seen any puppy notifications yet, but I'm sure it won't take long. I think now we've moved on to the Asian, the Asian section of our, um, of our soundtrack. I love this part. Got some poo over here. Probably get a couple more in here, too. He's coming to get the poop. This was a fun little exhibit to try. You guys will have to let me know if you all want me to do like, can't really commit to any like giant zoos right now or to start anything new like that. But if you guys want to see me stream some more little one-off, um, little habitat builds like this, this is fun. This is like a good, this is like a good mental exercise. Just trying to, you know, come up with different designs, different foliage options, different layouts. And you guys say I always incorporate waterfalls. Well, we didn't here. Just saying. We can do life without waterfalls. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to, kind of like Drew does, but you can do it. designed a I haven't designed a gorilla habitat in a long while Still got my brown bear in here. We have to um, design him a... Waylon has joined the pack. May have to design our little grizzly bear a, a habitat too. Dang, that's a cool shot too. Kind of them here resting with this log and these trees above them. Hold on guys, sorry about spamming you with all the... Um, with all the screenshots, but these, some of these are just too cool. <laughs> Sorry. Save some of these screenshots for later. Yeah, Gek, I, I designed one, like way back when Planet Zoo first came out, but it has been a while. So maybe we'll... Try to hit that up later. That the new wolves have kind of come in and just started exploring. They're just so cool. Like in game and in real life. Isn't that awesome? Oh, Mass, you save your cinematics for the end. I, yeah, I do mine like right at the beginning. Which Gek Gaming and them hate. They're like, dude, you kind of give away the surprise. Like, let us see you build it first. 
and then do the cinematics. But I'm like, eh, just the cinematics for me, kind of at the beginning, um, it kind of just like sets the tone. Like, I think it like helps get people excited. Like, how is he gonna do that? Or, you know, like that looked awesome. So I typically do my cinematics right at the very beginning. Kind of pull you in. Which doesn't really help my watch time much because Mass Bandit watches like the first minute and a half of the cinematics and then completely backs out, but I'm not judging. Um, I think that zoo's name was, was literally Test Zoo, wasn't it? Like, it didn't have a name. We just called it, like, Test Zoo. <laughs> I don't think we ever named it, old Gick. It was just like, it was the zoo I started right after the beta finished and uh, and when full release came out. Remember? Wait, I know it's random, but we have the same door. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I recently moved, like, I recently moved back up here. Kind of like, I just thought it, it sounds better up here. Um, it just feels more like an office type of gaming room here. Um, you know, got my posters and stuff up here. It all just kind of looks more like put together up here. And there you guys are. <laughs> Pretty cool room. I like it. I haven't done a lot of animals. I haven't even done an elephant enclosure other than in the beta. Technically... Kind of technically, I haven't either. I kind of... Well, Suyana has a pretty good bit of animals, but... By no means have I built something for everything. Probably, I probably haven't even built... I probably haven't even built for half of the animals we have on the roster. I kind of typically... It seems like I typically stick to my my comfort animals that I've, that I've designed for before. Um, like the wolves and stuff, so I need to try to maybe branch out a little bit. Get some new designs going for some animals I don't usually try. But, um... What I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this up in a few minutes, guys. It's almost 12 for me. I'm gonna go grab some lunch and kind of just hang out for a little bit. Maybe throw in a load of clothes or do some throw in a load of dishes and kind of wait for Drew to really kind of get started and get closer. And we are gonna jump into some biking action here very, very soonish. Right at 2 o'clock, if you get a chance to come back to his channel. Been branching into prehistoric animals. That's cool. We're definitely going to be doing some of that when, uh, when Prehistoric Kingdom's ready to roll.
And like I said, if you get a chance, come back and check out the, the actual video. I'll get us some cinematics going. Maybe just finna do a little more detailing in here. But for the mo these are some pooping little fellas, aren't they? But for the most part, I think we've... What have we been doing this for? Two hours and eight minutes. So, we got a lot done in two hours, didn't we? Not too bad. But yeah, I will definitely get you guys a... Get you guys a little video put together. You know, this wolf enclosure ended up going... It ended up going pretty good with the whole lake vibe and everything, didn't it? It kind of fits. It just kind of continues on out that way. That is pretty stinking cool. So our little nature preserve here has wolves now. Yeah, and if you guys want, um, I can do another, uh, like another, um, like standalone build like this, but maybe get that, uh, get the, the grizzly bear a, uh, a good little home going. I don't know, maybe we can turn this into something one day. Good, good starting footprint, isn't it? Hey, thanks, Heather. Yeah, we're about to roll off here in a minute. Let's see. We got to show, see what this pup looks like, and then um, I will be back at two on Drew on Drufus, uh, channel. One of them is about to have some offspring. The Wyatt. And yeah, like um, Heather was saying earlier, don't forget to, um, if you guys want to give me a follow on Instagram, I'll post some pictures of this build. Um, over there here in a few minutes too. We got some good shots. There it is. There's our first little pup. Hold on, I have the game I have the game sound turned down. Look at the little guy. <coughs> Going in the cave. They named him. Right. Oh, there's two of them. He's got a little litter. Serious. Two little boys. That is too cool. Little pupper. Oh, I know. Ain't that adorable, Heather? Kind of hanging out in the den. Oh, we're about to have baby otters. <laughs> Offspring imminent. Hold on one sec, we gotta keep you guys here to 
at least see the little baby otter before I go. I'm wondering if she's swimming back to... What if she's swimming back to have it? Another good shot. Not to rush her or anything, but... There he is! Oh my god, look at... Look at it! Vallejo! That's cute, a little boy! Following Mama. That is freaking adorable. Hasn't taken his first swim yet. <laughs> that is too cool. guys well yes I am gonna jump out of here grab a sandwich and some chips baked chips she told me to stay away from like regular you know like lays and I just I love my sour cream and onion chips and cheddar chips but she said I gotta turn over to baked if I'm gonna eat chips gotta be baked chips liver enzymes watch out for them so let me get, let me see where my little outro is here. Yeah, thanks, Heather. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button for me if you end up enjoy, if you ended up enjoying this little bit of mischief we got into here. And don't forget to come back and catch us here in about two hours at uh, on Drew's channel. We're gonna get into some Viking mischief. And I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out, coming and hanging out with me on this weird Monday for me. <laughs> you know, we don't usually get to do this, but it was fun nonetheless. And uh, yes, I will catch you guys in the next one. And look out for the video coming out this evening as well.